Do you like being here in this neighborhood? Yeah. This is your spot, huh? Yeah, this is where I like to come every day when I'm making dough. My family is from Naples. I was very influenced by going to Naples and visiting there with my mom and dad. That pizza just felt like it was for me and it was mine. But then I was also very influenced by like New York pizza. I loved Grimaldi's, Totono's, John's on Bleecker. I don't hold myself to any kind of like, this is how it has to be. Mostly everything that like I do has been just me kind of figuring things out. From the beginning, I always believed that the dough for the Neapolitan pizza should be naturally leavened. Mm -hmm. The naturally leavened dough is just healthier. Your body assimilates the nutrition from it better. It like creates more of a wild product. All my visits to Naples, I would see occasionally in these really old bakeries, the diving arm mixer. So when you know I was gonna do this thing in New York and you were supplying these diving arm mixers, I was just like, Let's go. I think we have yeah. to get one. The dough was actually coming out better in a mixer than what I could hand mix. You were working with an oven in New York, and then after some time you took that oven out and you replaced it with an Acunto. Yes. And then you went to San Francisco and you sort of like did the same thing. I knew that there had to be something better and I knew these ovens in Naples. Like I imagine, like I was like, what could I do with this thing? It could be amazing. I had that thing put in and it changed so much of my pizza making. Right. When it comes to the Acunto oven, the ovens are incredible. I mean, it always works right. It, the more you push it, the better it works. There's no limit to the oven. The oven is like better than me. So sort of like designed the oven together. I'm, I'm really happy with the way how it came out. I wanted it to look like very simple, very elegant, very light. You have created the Manjeri style pizza in your vision. What is like your perfect pie? I want a pizza that looks really like it's just like a piece of nature. It has a lot of air in the cornicione, very uneven, very kind of wild looking. The actual toppings look very, like, alive. This pizza that we make is kind of wacky looking and has big bubbles, and it's light, and it's super digestible. We're opening up doors for a wider variety. I think we'll wake the whole industry up. What we do now here is the beginning of a revolution. I think it, it will just allow people to be more creative. A lot of this, I feel like, is actually influencing Naples. Like, you know, there's a lot of young kids right now in Naples that are coming at it with a, more of an open mind. And what we're trying to do is just simple, excellent, really well executed, take it to the next level in every way. So most nights you have a line out the door. I see that this place could, you know, be the first Michelin star, you know, pizzeria. Making pizza is the same as like cooking a great piece of fish that you can get a Michelin star for. To me, that should be rewarded as any other thing in culinary. Making pizza great is a lifetime of effort.